This is the way that I set up a drawing for northings and eastings. Now you could go out to our site and take the northings and eastings if you've got the right equipment. Don't rely on your iPhone, they are remarkably inaccurate and depending on the signal you're getting it could be anything from 3 to 10 metres out. So um, this is the way that I do it and it tends to be very accurate. So the first thing I do is, um, once I've got the known site, is I go and buy a Ordnance Survey map for the UK. Now, other countries don't have this facility, so this is predominantly for UK technologists and architects. But this is the way that I do it, and it works very well. So once you know your site, go out and get the Ordnance Survey for that particular site. Um, they come in DWG um, um, format. And as always, I've got one um, already done. And the basic thing is to do is to go into File and Import. Now, um, the one that I've got here is for a site um, in Stoke-on-Trent that I've um, I've just finished. And you'll see that it's um, it's master map, full colour. And if I open it, Vectorworks will interrogate it and come up with the usual dialogue screen. Now. Generally, I let it automatically determine. It works very well. What I do want it to do is to use this scale, and I've set the scale to be 1 to 100. It's a terraced house that is, um, I'm working on, so the scale I know is going to be 1 to 100. So, apart from that, leave everything else you reasonably as it comes out of the box. It seems to work for me. Excuse me. There's the, um, the other dialog box that comes up. Now it basically wants to convert the colours that it sees into line weights. Um, because it's DWG, um, that's the way AutoCAD works. So what we will do is to set up the line weights. Now 180 is okay for me. I'm, I'm pretty cool with that. So done that and let it get on with it. Now what will happen is that it will bring all the information in and set it up at the right coordinates because the OS map system as you know is set up to the OS coordinate system and as you can see if I just take that and move it up you'll see that the 390900 is exactly right and the 351300 is again exactly right so it's set the drawing up ready for me to um, to use to the right northings and eastings coordinates. But as you can see, my site is slightly askew from the north and, north and west. So what I need to do is to set up the site so that I can draw properly on it without having to draw obliquely. The thing to do is to use this little tool up here, and it's the rotate plan tool. We just click it once and click on one of the corners or a long line and drag it down below and to the next one, it'll automatically set up the drawing. Now you can see that the coordinates have now changed to a blue to tell me that they are not in they're not lined up with the proper coordinates that I had originally. This is not a problem. I'm just going to show you how I then return it back and use them. But first I want to use the um, the save view and I'm going to do that and do that um, building set to horizontal and that'll do for me, I'll know what it is. Don't take the other bits and pieces, basically I'm saving everything and that's it. It'll save it away. Now what I can do is to go onto this one here and do top plan and take it back and as you can see all of a sudden Everything comes back as it should be. Now, if I want to tell the builder an exact northing and easting of any portion of the site, what I can do is I can go to my um, little tool here, which is the 2D Locus tool, and drop it onto the corner, which I know is a set point. Now, if I go then and just highlight just that, you can see that the northings and eastings are now set for me. And I can either write those on 
or I can use one of the little tools you can get from uh, Vector Depot, I think, has got a nice little tool that actually sets it up. But basically, there's the Northings and Eastings already set for me. If you go back to the saved view you had before, look at it, it's all gone wrong. All the Northings and Eastings do not line up, do not rely on it. Only use the, the, the Northings and Eastings tools when the building is actually in top plan mode. And there you've got the right Northings and Eastings set up. So, as you can see, if I drop down my organisational tools, I've got my, um, my basic master map in there. And what I'll do now is I will go into that, change the scale to 1 to 100 to suit, in other words, all the drawings will line up, and I'll click OK for the design layer. So if I go there to my new design layer, and I go into uh, building set to horizontal, I can now start drawing on that without any big problems. But as soon as I want to set it all up, I just go back up to here and use the top plan, and everything's right. As I said, this is my way of setting up the site to northings and eastings. Um, if you're on a bigger site, then you'll have so that you'll have the right equipment from the contractor to set up your northings and eastings on a known point on the site. Um, for me, for small jobs, this is the easiest way. Site plan from the, the OS system costs around £35. So it's a cheap and easy way of setting the drawings up. Um, in the old days, I used to turn everything around and get things set up to the site. I don't do that anymore. It causes far too many troubles. So now I rely upon the northings and eastings to set the job, the job up. And then I use my rotate tool to get the drawing to be horizontal. And if you're like me on a couple of jobs I've got where I've got a building with all sorts of facets on it, I've got three or four different uh, save views to take me into each of the different segments of the building. Hope that works for you. Let me know. Cheers and goodbye.